Cool, that worked perfectly. Just, just, <laughs> just how I wanted it to. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? Hey, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to Mondo and the Goon. James, shout out to James in the chat. Dan Hev, welcome. Thanks guys buddy? for tuning in. Well, that went great. I had to reboot <laughs> my computer, so I guess it's not fully, uh, fully booted at this at this point of time. So, don't so worry, great. it'll get fixed at some point. I ain't stressing it. What's going on with you, man? Oh, not too much, man. Just uh, got back from some dinner. You know, I had a birthday this past week, and you know, I'm, I'm feeling it. Yeah, <laughs> in the chat. Sh shout out, shout out, uh, CJ on there. It's his birthday, and uh, yeah, man, we're back. It's been a a hell of a January, I guess, for both of us. Uh, I I got sick the second week of January. Uh, Jen and I came down with the vid. Mm -hmm. And I uh, started a new job at the same time, so where well, I'm working from home, which is great. But you know, I was, you know, we were sick for for a bit, and I'll be honest, with you, I'm still uh, this whole COVID shit kickstarted my asthma again. Oh yeah, uh, I'll be 38 in like two weeks, and I haven't had asthma probably in 30 years. So now now it's back from time to time. <laughs> Uh, hey, you're over COVID, but guess what? Guess what? Welcome, welcome back, asthma. But, um, but yeah, now no. you have asthma. But now you have asthma, man. <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, glad to be back. Hopefully, uh, everyone's been doing well and healthy and all that shit. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, what's up with you, man? What you been doing, man? I, I mean, December's, you know, like you know between November, December, obviously, like, it is a big time for me to, as for many, getting together with family, and it's, it's, it's pretty, it gets pretty chaotic, I get a lot of people in from out of town, and, um, you know, you're either, you know, people are flying in, and, like, are surprising you, and then, you know, so weekends end up getting filled up pretty quick, um, uh, and then, you know, uh, in my line of work, uh, tax season is a big time for us, because, you know, <laughs> Everybody's a baller at that time and got a right. little bit of change in their pockets. So um that just seems to be burning a hole. So, you know, permanent well, luxuries, you know what I mean? I hear that James that spends his tax returns on um Hot Wheels. <laughs> he loves Hot Wheels. So I <laughs> I know he definitely oh, let me shout hold on one second. What up, Bataholic? Good to I'm see gonna you. I'm gonna shout out Steve real quick. Steve sent me First of all, he sent me a logo, which I couldn't find. But then he sent me the TMT collection. The the series. As well. Yeah, man. Shout out to Steve, man. Steve, where'd you find that, man? Because everywhere <laughs> I, I found that is like a million dollars. So, I mean, you probably know yeah. people that know people. So Steve, Steve just buys shit. He doesn't, mm -hmm. he doesn't look at the price. He's got a 401k and statues, man. Dude, <laughs> we got to have Steve on here one day for like statue fucking talk. Cause God, that's man. that's my go-to guy. Jesus. Whenever we go anywhere, but yeah, man, I'm glad I'm glad to be back, man. I miss miss chatting with you. Yeah, man. How how was uh, how was the holidays? Good. <laughs> I've had it for a while. Decided to watch it more. <laughs> <laughs> holidays were good, man. It was it was a fun um fun Christmas, man. Um, actually, it probably you know probably one of the more normal Christmases, I guess, in the last two yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. It's you just know? weird. We're discovering a new normalcy because it feels like everything's kind of just like shifting kind of back to where we were. Closely back. Not probably World War Three, but whatever. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, saw, I saw a meme and it just said uh, first normal like summer <laughs> a few years and then here comes Russia. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like we're living through all major crises in the last ten years. It's been awesome. It's been great. Um, I'm so stoked on life right now. <laughs> <laughs> Man, as long as uh, Neca keeps pumping <laughs> up the years, we'll be okay. Yeah, I know, man. If I'm uh, going to die during World War III, I'm going to die with my NECA figures. I'm going to die with my NECA figures. Um, but yeah, man, I've been busy. I've been collecting a ton of turtle shit, which is funny. We haven't we haven't been all together. I've just been like texting you like, look at a lot of I picked up. Or Dude, it, 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 it was always something, though, man. Like, just <laughs> everything came up, and you're just like, whatever, yeah. man. <laughs> well, you know what watches us anyways. It was like, whatever. <laughs> We're... No, no, no. We're 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 disappointing our tens of fans. <laughs> Bury me with my turtles. This is, I mean, this is yeah. true. I'm gonna wear the turtles, my turtle figures as body armor. I've come to the realization that that's just what's gonna be. That's gonna be. So yeah. someone posted a meme like they're they're watching Red Dawn just in case. Oh, it. dude, it's, it's so great. How good was that movie? Did you see the remake uh, with Chris Chris Hemsworth? Yeah. No. Me neither. I like the original one. Yeah, the original is pretty good. I was just, you know, it's one of those things that um, I don't know that you need to remake that movie. You know, yeah, I mean, we'll I understand see. why they did. <laughs> <laughs> we're so disappointed. <laughs> I mean, everything's getting remade at this point. Well, I just feel like you know, uh, it goes with fashion or whatever. Um, no. Everything just kind of regurgitates itself. Like how, <laughs> dude. I'm on a college campus, and people are are dressing so '90s. It's crazy. Like, I'm like time warped right now, man. It's <laughs> insane. All right, guys. Look, I, you, you know what? This is what really grinds my gears. You, all you guys that carry around that damn fanny pack around your shoulder and they call it something else. No, it's a fanny pack, guys. Fanny pack. Get the hell out of here. It's a fanny pack. You got I, I have tons of fanny packs. <laughs> I do too, <laughs> but don't try and church it up. Don't be like it's not a fanny pack. It totally is. I don't care what you say. Hundred percent fanny pack. I oh, carry okay. it on my chest uh, if I'm at a con. Yeah, it's like uh, a cool thing. I got it. And that because I keep my money here, yeah, so if right. I need access to it, close to my heart because yeah. that's what I care about. I'm not disappointed because I never had high hopes for this shit. I know, I know. I can't believe that's that's what your wife said. I can't <laughs> believe it. <laughs> quoting, quoting. <laughs> No Emmy, no I'm quoting no Emmy right now. Oh, that's so great. So uh I don't have any of my fanny packs here. I honestly I'll have a lot of them in storage. Um Jen makes me keep them in storage. Uh <laughs> James, how are, are you are you uh are you upset that The Rock and uh Vin Diesel are not getting along? Like what how are you doing, man? I've been meaning to check in on you. Make sure you're okay. James like is like a child stuck in uh, between two divorces. <laughs> 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 Mom and dad are breaking up. Oh man. Oh, that's hilarious. Fucking crushed. <laughs> Fucking crushed. <laughs> oh right. man. So we want to dive into you, man. Man, so toy the toy show. So okay. the New York toy show usually happens every February in New York City. Uh, same location as like uh, New York Comic Con, huge toy show, tons of vendors, and basically this is what they like companies used to go to to see what toys like representatives from Toys R Us would go and they'd talk to vendors and see what kind of toys right, it's coming out for the next year and see what's coming in. Because of COVID, uh, they decided not to hold the, the toy show this year, so they did like a virtual toy show, or whatever. So now, no, you can't. Um, you can't you can't just walk into this thing. It's it's just industry people. <laughs> it's just in, in, industry folk, and that's it. Fucking James. Um, uh, I'm gonna try to get into it next year, but NECA just went ham that that whole week and just started posting shit, posting shit. Uh, so we're gonna check out some of the stuff here. Uh, they had a couple of reveals, and. Let me just share my screen. Hopefully. Oh, man, I can't wait to spend more money. And Nick is just driving me nuts. All right. So here is this is a little video of Mummy Michelangelo. Uh, the 
Those look so good, by the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. He just looks so gnarly. Yeah. The details on the shells are red. No, I guess lips. That That's kind of freaky. So he's got a changeable head. Oh, okay. Sick. Let's see if I can pause it. Yeah. So here, here's what comes. You got changeable hands. You got little nunchucks. You have the swappable head, which yeah. I, this one's freaky as shit. Uh, I love I like that one. one. I feel like that's kind of a nod to. Um, do you remember that uh, when they were, um, when they found they had one of the Leonardo costumes that were like, they had to like redo, like fix, yeah. but his face was like that. All of his teeth were exposed. <laughs> I think yeah. it was just the most terrifying thing ever. Uh, yeah, Jen actually picked up. She picked up Ralph, and it's a it's a beautiful figure. Isn't that beautiful the um, uh, Frankenstein? Frankenstein's monster. monster. Yeah, yeah. and like like these are great. I'm glad they're doing these. But yeah, so they showed this little uh, snippet of it. Yeah. Let's see what else. Uh, here's another one. All right, so you're gonna get Smash and Zack, and then Rock Soldier Infantry and Crooked Ninja Turtle Goon Number Two. Uh, That's it. Talked, it talked, and this is gonna, it's going up for pre order. Uh, on t it already went up for pre order, so yeah, $54 each. I mean, if you want these, uh, I think what pre order stay up for like two weeks. Oh, yeah, would not go. Well, that might be off their website by now, man. It might be sold out. Ooh, you know why? That's a good fight. Look at Chrome Dome's head. That Chrome Dome figure is amazing, by the way. Massive. It's so big. It's massive. massive. I feel like it's bigger than Crane. Oh, 100%. And it's right? like super heavy, though, too, man. Mm, it's a hefty boy. But yeah, I, I was just talking about this with you before. You you saw some box art with Zach, and I remember you telling me, like, I think we're going to get Zach. I think they're going to come out with Yeah, it was the Mondo Gecko one, and he was in, like, there was, like, the shadows in the uh, in the, the, the windows or whatever. And I was like, yeah. I mean, they're, they're going to come out with figures and, um, or not figures, but uh, vehicles. And my guess, they're going to, they're gonna do the technodrome and they're gonna do the layer. I mean, why would you not, man? The money. I mean, I you have the audience. People are gonna spend the money. Like, they're they're gonna for sure. And I I'm gonna and talk to Matt about this. And he's like, people are gonna build the army. Like the army builders, they're gonna build an army with with this figure right here. Um. Okay. Uh, by the way, if, um, if you guys haven't pre-ordered those these figures. They are still currently available on the NECA website. So, or the NECA store. Get to a dent head. <laughs> so, yeah, these, these are pretty good. Um, I liked, uh, I like how they came out. They're really good. I like the head swaps. Yeah, they look great. I just hope, like, the price points are better than the Super 7. Yeah. Um, I think the the party wagon looks great. Um, I hate the pizza wheels thing. Like I would never put that on there. But <laughs> if NECA is going to charge five hundred dollars for the party wagon, I'm be really upset. I hope not. I, I five hundred dollars is ridiculous. I think they know uh, their audience. And uh, well, how much are how much are the Super Seven figures? Aren't they about the same the as these? Figures are about fifty bucks. And that's only one figure, right? One figure. Uh, here's here's a, a thing though. If you go to if you download the network app, on yeah. random times they'll have a sale where you can get those figures for ten dollars each. What? Yes, I Super miss seven? it every time. Yep. Jesus. Ten dollars. I don't know how because so I'm a part of the uh, Cool Kids the uh, fan page, which is like just a devoted to Ninja Turtles, and someone posted like. Golden Network, it's like ten bucks, and sold out fast as shit. But ten dollars. Uh, yeah, man, that's. I mean, that's cool. And yeah. I haven't even tried to start collecting the Super Seven figures because there's no point. 
Like I, I there's I can't keep up with it, man. That's they did come out with the uh, mute engine man glow in the dark, which uh, Adam has. Dude, it, it looks awesome. so good. Ah. It's awesome. Dude. So I like how the NECA figures are more geared as the cartoons, and then the Super Seven are geared more towards the the old toys that are just like redone, which is great. Right. Right. You know. Yeah, those are. Let me see something here. Ah, oh, cool. I like this one better. Um, and then I so he, to to I guess I was surprised when they when they put this out. I couldn't believe it. Uh, they're making a last Ronin figure. Yeah, the thing looks amazing. Um, I already up for pre-order. Already pre-ordered it. And you already you already have. I uh, through Big Bad Toy Store. Oh, is that that's who it's through? That's who I'm doing it through. Oh, I wonder if that's still up. I need to get one of those because yeah. you know that figure is going to be super expensive once it sells out. Like, yeah, good luck. People are going to be like, I might be hmm, wrong. So here's here's the here's the deal. This is what happened. Um, I forgot who did it, but there someone on IG. Uh, made 150 last Ronin, last Ronin, um, playmate style figures. Then what happened was they actually are going to release last Ronin figures in the playmate style with the card and the bubble and all that stuff. So I pre ordered that one. I think this one is available for pre order, but shipping in August. Um, so check now. Big Bad Toys is usually where I go through, but here he is with all the weapons. It's it's a dope figure, man. So, I'm okay. So, shit. Uh, <laughs> what the hell? So now they're starting to make. I'm I'm looking at this slash figure from from TMT Adventures. That's the Archie comic line, right? So Is that this, they're this starting to make those figures now too. Yeah, I I pre ordered this one as well. Shit. I mean. <laughs> That's like my favorite like run of like comics, man. Like the right. Archie line, the I Archie love line. that. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm we're looking at the figure here. Uh, it's great, and that price point is right now. It's only thirty seven dollars for pre order. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, this is awesome. It's gonna look good. It's gonna display well. Yeah, those are awesome. Get on it. Did you ever? Did you ever collect any of the? Uh, Turtles in Time, like I, I think they're still putting out figures, but like they still are. I, I don't, I haven't collected them at all. Mm -mm. I feel like nobody has like collected that at all. Um, they just kind of fell by the wayside because they they were doing that a while ago. The San Diego Comic Con, they kind of put the yeah the like the Foot Clan pack out that was like in the rad packaging that looked like the arcade or whatever. And then they did the Turtles, and then uh, they slowly started doing the Turtles in Time. But then NECA looks <laughs> like. Guess what? We're gonna start doing these awesome figures as well. We got the go ahead. We're doing them. Um, you know which one surprised me? This one. I didn't see this one coming. Which one? Oh yeah, dude. That's it's one of my favorite covers. Oh, beautiful cover. Yeah. Which is it's sitting in my cart right now. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, Renette, I was like, no way. This is a great. It's such a, you know, if you don't know the con, I feel like that it's a super random. Uh, right. You know, it's it, it's obscure for sure. Yeah. No, the Beep Bomb and Rocks. I do. I like that one. I like the Baxter Stockman figure. Those are really good. But you know what is? I'm. I just refuse to go down another hole with like mecha yeah. stuff, and then the Turtles and Times. It's just too much. It's too much. It's, it's too, too it much. is literally too much. I, you know what? I'm glad I live in an era where I'm like, you know, it's too much turtle stuff. <laughs> it's just everywhere. And now we're getting what? like Renette, which again, I was like, this is, it's dope. It's a beautiful figure. Dude. Did, did you pre order both Ronin figures? Yeah. No, wait. I think it might have just pre-ordered armor, which I gotta do on the. So yeah, the, so they made two Ronin figures. <laughs> yeah, 
assholes, man. Um, they made an armored and the unarmored. Unarmored one. Yeah, there he is. Funny joke. I sent this to Matt. I'm like, Matt, you're going to pre-order this. He's like, yeah, already did. And then he texts me back like 20 minutes later. He goes, I just realized this is a completely different figure. It's not the same one as the other Yeah, dude. Yeah. Fucking Decca. They're like, you know what? You like this one? How about with no shirt? How about no shirt? <laughs> How about Gary? no shirt? Such a shitty move, Neca. But <laughs> it really is, dude. <laughs> but yeah, this like one... I mean, it's cool, but like this dude lounge on the couch and shit. Uh, <laughs> there's really nothing different about this figure other than the fact he just doesn't have a shirt on. Right. And, and it's like, much so it. they're like, eh, do you are you a real collector or you better testing spend that money? The, testing the wallets of fans. Ugh. Testing my patience. What's going on, Jonathan? Yeah, Ned could just be doing shit on purpose. Let's see. Sometimes I like to read the comics. Just as I was thinking, I didn't need both. Bam. Mouser. <laughs> There's actually a third um, Last Ronin. Figure. No way. Uh, Playmates. Playmates, yes. Let me go to uh, Big Bad. And it is $29. And it's a 7-inch. And it reminds me of the old school uh, figures. Mm-hmm. There's Alf too. <laughs> Just let's see. Neca is killing our walls, man. Yeah. So I did pre-order the Playmates figure, which is there this it is. one. I, and and these again, these price points are not that bad, man. It's just like, but that shit adds up so quickly. Twenty nine dollars here. $37 here. I do wish they went with the original packaging. That one? Yeah. Uh, for, oh, you for meant like, on, like on, on card? On card. I really yeah, wish they did that. They still What's going on, Rob? And then... Uh... Nico was wrong for announcing their figure right after Playmates. Yeah. Yeah. And the shit is with Live by Toy Store. You see how they have substandard, standard, and then collector? I always yeah. get the collector. Always. That last Ronin figure oh. or uh, uh, statue was pretty cool. That diamond was Diamond Club or Diamond. The, like the diorama? Yeah. Let me see. Diamond Selects. Yeah, that's what it was. Uh, this one. Oh, wait. This is the. Uh... PCS exclusive. This is a big boy. Damn. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. You gotta stop with this. So this is this is the. So this is this is this statue is two pieces, right? So you yeah. have this one, and then you get this one. With with the three brothers, behind Michelangelo. And uh, yeah, that's sick. If it's kind of lit up like that, or... I just I think that's. Just I've never been a amazing. I've never been a statue guy. Yeah, I've never been a Steve. We've talked about it, um, but I don't. I can't do it. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Um, it's, no, it's man. Much. Like it really is. It's too much almost. Um, now, Man, I don't know monsters, I mean, those are, those are sweet. I really enjoy the old ones where, like, Donatello was, like, the vampire and, or Dracula. And, That's uh, what I was, was hoping the, for when Raph they came the, out with these was that um, that whole line that had the creature, the Invisible Man. Like, those shits are hella expensive. Yeah, they um, are. They're, I'm looking at, I'm, like, bidding on some on eBay right now. Oof. Loose? No, on card. Ooh, double. <laughs> you just, know me. I don't collect loose. That shit is <laughs> no joke. How many holes does that I'll figure out? I don't know. It's a good question. What you really want to know is how many points of articulation it has. I hope it comes with like a cat that he can consume. <laughs> I know because, they're rebooting You know Alf. what? I feel bad for Alf. Like, there's a ton of like feral cats out there. You couldn't give that dude one cat. Like he's an alien, man. Give him one cat. Yeah, let's look look at Alf. Let's see. How one, many holes two, does that Alf figure? Three. 
Oh, that's right there. You don't want to mess with What's that. What's up, guy. Ray Herbert? Yeah, look at that. Come with the cat. Yep, comes with a cat sandwich. Does it really? Yeah. Tight. Perfect. It's great. It's perfect. Now we know that uh, Rob is thinking they'll get it. Oh, man, that's so great. That's a rad <laughs> figure, dude. The cat sandwich is so tight. I, w I definitely wasn't into Alf as a kid. I just... I mean, I loved Alf, man. Like, Did you? Yeah. I love like the I'm, fact he comes with that Hawaiian shirt. It's that's so cool. You can just throw it on him. That's it's a great. It's a good looking figure. Who's I would love to see somebody cosplay that. <laughs> cosplay as Alf. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Like I'm not sure that what, what that would entail, but like I don't know. Yeah, uh, I heard that they're rebooting Alf. Um, for I'm not sure who's doing it, but. It's so bringing back a bunch of stuff, man. I saw um, nostalgia sells, man. Futurama's coming back. Did you see that? No, really. Yeah, they they got uh, bought for two new seasons, and it's, it's like they're like rebooting it. But apparently, oh, every man. most everybody is going to be back on that. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. I don't know if it's going to be the same like stylistically or what. Or if they're going to try and do a new twist on it or not. Damn. We'll see. I'm waiting for the new Beavis and Butthead se or seasons to come out. They're doing that too? Mike Judd is doing all of that, man. Wow. Yeah, I can't wait. He said two guaranteed two new seasons. And that's going to be on the Paramount Network, I believe. Jeez. Yeah. Ah, oh, someone else. Uh, well, see, I heard that too, but I, I also heard they were pretty close to getting uh, the person who does or did his voice. Like, that was like the only person they had none that got like back on. But I think they were just working out contracts. <laughs> oh my God. Rob, did you like Morgan Mindy? Don't ask him, don't engage. <laughs> you know what I want to do to Robert right now? Play play the snippet that I want to do. What I want to do to Robert. Oh, hold right on. Now. Give me one second as I find it. I want to do this to you so bad, Robert. And I love <laughs> you, but it's just one of those things, man. <laughs> I just one of the greatest <laughs> scenes in the history of it's cinematic masterpiece like honestly there's seen... yeah there's nothing nothing else like it i want to shake the writer's hand for this <laughs> hey what the heck it's this save too let's see let's jump over there. ah uh -huh. let's see here mm -hmm. How's everybody doing? Who's in the chat? Chat. Let's see. Ben had Eric. Laverne and Shirley. I did like Laverne and Shirley. Yeah, that was good. This one. GIF. You know what uh, show I could? Um, I loved as a kid. I used to watch with my grandpa. It was uh, Mash. If they did like a, uh, you know, redid that. Like I, I know that is a, like near dear. But not necessarily redo it. Just maybe do like a more modern take of Mash. Yeah, it, not with the same characters. Just like bring it to like current. You know. I gotcha. Oh, here you go, Rob. Just for you. This is you, Robert. This is what I want to do to you, <laughs> Robert. I want to take you by your tracksuit. When you uppercut when you, your head off your body. When you come yeah. to New York, I want to reenact this. <laughs> <laughs> it falls in the dumpster and then shuts. <laughs> and <laughs> <You eat. laughs> it shuts the dumpster. It's so funny, man. <laughs> That's the best. 
<laughs> we'll leave this up for the rest oh of the show. God. Um, I, you know what? What y'all really like? Uh, happy days. I love happy days. Happy days is pretty good, happy man. Days, great. You know, and I understand. I kind of understand why they keep doing these things because, like, I was tattooing a kid the other day, and I was like, I had I have a Mister Rogers like action figure, hmm. and in my station, she's like. Oh, who's Mr. Rogers? And I was like, Oof. Wow. What the fuck did you say? I also have like a bozo <laughs> action figure. And he's like, Who's that? And I was like, Oh my God. Like, it's, I under, I now understand why they're redoing everything. Because, I mean, nobody knows any of this stuff, man. It's crazy. Which and I guess wrong. I'd rather see it like live on than. Right. Not, I mean, speaking of know. stuff that's like gone right like arthur just finished after many years of of syndication on pbs yeah um which is crazy yeah you know so uh, all these things coming to an end just makes you feel like old shit yeah it, it doesn't make me feel old it makes me sad man yeah you know like it it, it makes me sad for the guys that didn't get to grow up on that stuff Right. I mean, in a time like this, you, you could you could use a, a Mr. Rogers in your life, you know? You always I, seem to know what to say. Knight Rider was, um, that was like my dad, that was like one of my dad's shows. He was like way into that and like Million Dollar Man and shit like you that. You didn't like uh, Knight Rider? It was all right. It was okay. I thought it was cool. I, I thought it was, was cool because of the talking Mr. Feeny car, which was awesome. Yeah, it, yeah, like that was cool, but like, it's like a poor, <laughs> poor Bruce Wayne. Like, <laughs> right. What about the eighteen? Did you enjoy that? It's good. Oh yeah, I mean, I do pity the fool, man. I was yeah. always uh, intrigued that they they shot a lot at each other, but no one ever got like shot. Just yeah, made. dude. <laughs> 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 Just had the biggest weapons ever, and nobody ever got shot in that thing. It's like, man, you just waste a lot of money on ammunition for not killing a single person. <laughs> Dude, they, they used to have, like, full-fledged shootouts, and no one ever got, like, <laughs> No. They, like, like, a, like a rock is... stopped them or something. You know what I mean? Like, they tripped this... over a rock, and then they got arrested. This is an elite army unit. <laughs> <laughs> elite army unit. They can't fucking fire a weapon to save their life. <laughs> yeah, um, what? But, yeah, AT was my shit. 18. I, yeah. I, I did like that show as a kid. That was uh, pretty good. Growing up. Um, I mean, that, that was like that was like a, a Michael Bay film, like, every weekend. Every weekend. Yeah. <laughs> right. Before Michael Bay was a thing. Because it was just fucking explosions. I mean, it was terrible dialogue. But... Oh, for sure. It wasn't that... It, really? Yeah, oh, dude, I just bought... Uh, um, it's funny you brought that up. I did see that, and I was like, oh, what's Play Mobile? And I went to their website, and then I bought the fucking Ghostbusters Firehouse from Play Mobile. <laughs> I was like, I got fucking roped into this. And I was like, oh, cool, man. Like, that, that looks kind of weird. And then, I, then I saw they had the Back to the Future, like, DeLorean and shit. And I was like, that one too. I guess I'll buy that. <laughs> uh, if Lego is listening, um, please re the Firehouse. The firehouse you <laughs> And then also, if you could do uh, like a reissue of the Proton Pack, that'll be. Oh yeah, dude. Okay, so I oh my god, so they were like putting out those toys again, mm -hmm. and then they did like um, one of the traps. But dude, come out with the Proton Pack like with the crazy like uh, pool pool noodle <laughs> on the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. It, it would was. Give me that. I, it, I it, had that. I, I remember had as a that. kid getting pissed off at that thing attached to the end of the... the did the, you rip it out? Oh, I cut it off, man. I did too. I was like, this is cool for like two seconds, but I was like, I can't be shooting my blaster the whole time, man. Like, <laughs> Just running down the hall. I was like, I can't cross the streams, guys. Man, <laughs> like, so... Speaking of Ghostbusters, where is it? So my birthday is March 11th. It's the same day as... So there's a show in Jersey. 
um, called Monster Mania Con. Monster Mania Con is just like a horror convention. And they have a ton of guests. They do like signings and autographs and photo ops. What are you saying? Yeah. Um, let me add this to the stream. Uh, so I'll be going to this. Jen and I are just taking it's my birthday. Er, oh, who is it? It's going to be Ernie Hudson, oh, Ernie Hudson and Logan Kim, the kid who played podcast. They have a Dexter reunion going on. And then like a weird science reunion too. Um, Dude. Yeah. I, I want to meet Anthony and Michael Hall. You know how much of a fan of the Breakfast Club I am? Yeah. Dude, come on. Really? Oh, dude. That. Well, I love... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, you got to come up from Florida there, bud. And I'll totally <laughs> tattoo you for six hours. Um, what does it say? Oh, well, any John Hughes film, like Uncle Buck, you know, Pretty Pink, Breakfast Club. All that jazz. That's all you should. Yeah. Yeah, dude. This is. I'm definitely. I'm pretty pumped. Um, Kane Hodder's gonna be there. Old Kane Hodder, man. That dude's been roaming the circuit, <laughs> Jason, for years. <laughs> yeah, dude loves like, it. What else does that dude do? James Remar. So, yeah. Fucking, dude, they, that dude was like Raiden. Who's Raiden? <laughs> The whitest dude ever was Raiden. If they don't let Ernie Hudson take over the Ghostbusters franchise as they like were letting on to believe at the end of Ghostbusters, spoiler alert, like if you haven't seen it yet, go fuck yourself because I'm telling you anyway. It's been long enough, right? It's yeah. on DVD, it's if, on everywhere. But that's such a rad idea to have like the kids like start growing up and taking over and like maybe introducing new characters and stuff. That's awesome. Like I yes. hope Ernie Hudson gets that because he was like he was cut from most of the stuff, man. Like yeah. you know yeah. nobody like I felt bad for Ernie Hudson. You know, after hearing all the stories of like cut him out of like a lot of scenes and stuff like that. Like he had more in depth characters. He was yeah. like a fire pilot or something. Really? Yeah. Holy. But no, I really hope he takes over the franchise. I do too. I, I hope that's where they lean to. I don't see Bill Murray coming back like full time. I'm sure he'll make an appearance here. Uh, or maybe there. A, a cameo or something. But I think, I think like Ernie's gonna stick around. Um, and I don't even think he's gonna be a ghost person. I think he, you know, he bought the firehouse and all that stuff. And I think that he's just basically gonna fund it because he's like this fucking billionaire now. Right. He's the money man now. Yeah. So like yeah. he's gonna employ like new Ghostbusters. And I think that's awesome because you can I, keep going with, you know, the whole thing, man. Right now. I mean, it's perfect. It was, it was a great kind of, yeah. so what I did was, um, I bought a uh, Ghostbusters two for the NES. Uh, it's completed in March. So I'm going to have him sign it because the first, in the first game, it's just a black cover with the logo, but I kind of want him to like sign by his, by him in, in the photo. Uh, and then I'm, I'll, I'll mount that and uh, keep it uh, keep it close. Like, sure. I'm pumped for this. This is like, I'm going to go in there. This is the first line I'm going to. I'm just going to hang out there. Um, I, I, it, like, looking at that first co Ghostbusters, like, cover, like, why the hell wasn't Ernie Hudson on the cover of that first one? Or why, would they, why didn't they just add him? Right, like after, right, with like any re releases or remakes or anything like that. Yeah, they never added him to it. He was just like this dude for hire, and like nobody gave a shit. <laughs> right. I, oh, oh, I also gotta bring my beat. Dude, I have so they, they couldn't even put him on the fucking cover. Like, it, it, yeah. there was obviously four of them. Yeah, I don't know whose call was that, but that was kind of shit. Yeah, I don't Forget know. James. Because he's. <laughs> Finish the James. Finish it. I'll say it with you. <laughs> but yeah, so that's going to be coming in about two weeks. And then uh, anyone in the New Jersey area, um, I'll be myself and some other members of the club will be at um, King Kong Show in New Jersey on March 19th, raising funds for Juvenile Diabetes Foundation. Uh, so that's what we're doing there. 
Um, but yeah, this. Uh, so I've never met Robert Elon, uh, but Man, I've been frantically sending emails to his fucking agent. <laughs> like, when I, I see him, November 11th through 13th, I'm be like, listen, CJ's been trying to reach out to you. I'm like, listen, man, are your fingers broken? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> how about you hit a guy back, man? Maybe tell me, just tell me to go fuck myself, and I'll just leave you alone. You know what I mean? I'd rather you tell me to go away and leave you alone. But I'm yes. really tired of sending you emails and you don't <laughs> respond. <laughs> you want to laugh? Um, the dude who played Leonardo in the movies. Um, Was that that he, David? Uh, something like that. I forgot. No, no, it's oh fuck. He like liked a bunch of my stuff on mine too, and I'm like, hey man, read your messages. We'd like to chat with you about the movie and yourself. I'm just gonna start commenting on. All of his photos, <laughs> and there's no way just go to you can ignore line. every one of them. It's no, like it's I know right. you don't do anything now, my guy. Like, yeah. Look, give us 30 minutes of your time. I'm gonna comment the same thing <laughs> on all 375 pictures he has. You know who we should who we should reach out to? Uh, Re- Ernie yeah. Reyes. I feel like he'd be easy. To talk to. Oh man, that would be tight. All right, that'd but, be super tight. I think so. I think so. You know who I've been um, wanting to see at a at a con? The guy who played Casey Jones. Um, the dude from SVU? The dude from uh, uh, Law and Order. Chicago PD. He was in Law and Order, too, I believe. Was he? Yeah. he was on like all the crime shows. I wish he was like a con guy. I'm sure like, people go. I'm, he's had to have done cons, dude. There's, I mean, he may not do a lot of them, but... Something. I, I'm sure he's not doing I feel right like now. most of those people like do cons, man. Just not very many, or just really big ones. Right. I'm hoping he does one. I, w- I would like to get some. Yeah. Some, some stuff signed. I have some stuff. If he ever comes to like New York, well, like they had him on, or what was it? They were doing an interview with him when they were doing that cast reading. Did you watch that? No, I didn't. Dude, it was so rad. They had like everybody from the original movie back, and they were just reading the script. That's awesome. They had the guy that played Shredder, and he was doing like doing the voice and everything. It was fucking tight. <laughs> um, That's awesome. But uh, yeah, so he was on there, and then they asked him about because um, that 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 Casey Jones figure came out, um, and you couldn't remove his mask. And they're like, yeah, you know, whatever. And I guess he like didn't give permission or didn't want them to do it. Like I don't know. Yeah. And they eventually he caved in and they released a, a, another Casey Jones. Yeah, like they just sent them a suitcase full of cash. But again, I think it's all like a scam <laughs> from NECA because <laughs> they're like, oh yeah, man, we couldn't get you. Got to buy this Casey Jones, and then just like fucking six months later, they're like, oh, guess what? You get to buy this one too. You know who they can't find? Uh, it's the guy who played Tatsu. They can't find him. <laughs> Tatsu. <laughs> Shit, man. I forgot about that guy. <laughs> they can't find him anywhere. Uh, uh. James, how's work today? Were you late? Oh, yes. master. Gone. <laughs> that dude had one line, and that was it. And that was from the second one. Because the first one, he just goes, huh? You know, uh. he did make it to a turtle game, though. Did he make it in the turtle game? Which turtle did, game? I think maybe fi- TMT tournament fighters. Oh, okay. I'm gonna find out. Yeah, I never but he's played, in one I of the don't think I ever played that one. Uh, yeah, I'll be honest. Was, I, I was never a huge like freak. Mortal Kombat kind of kind of guy. Anyway, like the movies were cool and everything. Um, uh, I just never really bought them. Like I'll go to the arcade and play with friends, but. It was one of those games I was just like, yeah. Right. I'm a no, side scroll guy. Yeah, I don't like it. Um I just pick it up because I need to I need to I was super OPCD about it. I um I think I'm one more game away from finishing like North American Game Boy releases. So I was watching From Turtles? It, from Turtles. I'm one more away. And so you have the Manhattan Project, Doug? I do. What's the one you're missing? Don't even touch it. I don't even care. I don't even want to look at it. Are you? What, how are you getting such good quality boxes? Are those? Dude, are those secondhand boxes or what? No, these are legit. 
just You're lying. patient, man. This just one, I, my this this one I got when I went to um, is that too many games expo? No, it, it's open. Like oh. I open it. Like um, I'm just like, waiting. What's it, smell, what's it smell like? Like uh, nostalgia. Like, like success. Like or failure. <laughs> like like the first turtles game that no one could ever beat. The Manhattan Project was fun as shit. It's a very fun game. Um, Isn't that the one they they also put out for like? What was the one they put out for uh, Game Boy that was kind of like that? Uh, there, so there's three. I have one, two, and then there's three, which is Manhattan Rescue, I think. That might be it. Um, but there's like one where they're on the beach and there's like palm trees and shit. But it's like Manhattan. This one. This one. It's the first level. How the hell are they? The where do the palm trees <laughs> come from? Trust me, as a New Yorker, there's Upstate no palm York, trees man. in Manhattan. <laughs> what the hell? Nobody caught that either? They're like, oh, you know what would be really cool in Manhattan? Palm trees. Palm trees. There's no palm trees in Manhattan. There's not even <laughs> trees really in Manhattan. You, there's trees in, like, Central Park. But that's it. He sold his soul for Turtles games. I believe it, man, because man. some of those things are pretty pricey, my dude. Dude, it took it took a long time. Um, it, it it I would like to uh, applaud you because your collection has gotten crazy <laughs> in the last like I don't know six months. Yeah, like I just so, feel like you're buying up everything, man. I'm worried my, about you. Do you my, are you okay? <laughs> I'm good. Uh, and okay. your job is awesome. But it's my lo- <laughs> my local job, my local store, got in a whole collection. Oh, really? Um, yeah, so I got like the sewer, the technodrome. Um, the technodrome the, always has pieces missing every time you like it's like the eyeball or like the little things that go on the side of it. Or this one is it's pretty legit. Um, but, oh man, you have the box for the sewer, yeah, I do. Yeah, it's, how's the box? Is it in good condition? It the front is, <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's great, it's a great show. The whole back is missing. <laughs> Um, so they legit got, they got the, the only two that I didn't pick up that they had were the, um, the driller and then, oh, you mean the, 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 uh, the foot clan, um, vehicle they had, yeah, that one and the Cadillac. The only Dude, two. how cool was that fucking Cadillac? I, that was like one of the elusive vehicles I, I just never got. And then yeah. the, the, like the rat king, um, like fucking jet ski that had like the snakes as so cool dude like teeth or something like to hold the i don't know it was, well, but he, that he, it was like those two um my favorite vehicle was the motorcycle man with the sidecar yeah yeah that one is dope uh yeah. i would say download whatnot because that's where i'm getting a lot of good deals from i Here's have it and i get i get uh i get updates all the time and i try to ignore them <laughs> because they're like, oh, vintage turtles. I was like, fuck, I can't do it right now. Here's a sad story. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, it was a little tear, but so I'm on whatnot. I'm, I'm sitting next to Jen. I'm like, all right, I don't want to spend more than 250 on this. Like, Shit. they had an Android Krang, like, <sighs> in, in box. Like, well, the like, original it was all box, but the box was mint. Yeah, those things are mint. expensive too, man. I was going for it, dude. And this guy just wouldn't stop bidding. I was so furious at him. I'm like, stop, stop, because he would only <laughs> raise his bid a dollar. Oh, time. what an asshole. Like, I was a dick. As soon as it went up, I put like 200. I was like, 200. And then, I, like, no one bid until like two seconds and like a dollar. And I'm like, God, I think he had like 300. I'm like, I really don't want to spend more than 300 on this right now. But, I should have, but he won it, and I was oh, super, okay. super sad. Well, I'll get it. It'll come. To you, me. you know what's crazy? You, this it, it's about to be that time of year to where are you still there? Did we lose it? Did we lose? I'm still, I'm still here. So, okay. just, so the, here's the beauty thing about uh, it, it's starting to get warm, and you know, uh, so you're gonna see a lot of garage sales, and you're gonna see a lot of stuff that like. I always try and hit up garage sales and like uh, estate sales and stuff like that because most of the people selling that stuff, they're just like, oh, it was our kids' toys. You know what I mean? Like, we don't care. Take the box for like 
20 bucks. And for you, since you like loose figures, you could get, end up getting like a cra- I mean, it's a long shot, but you know what I mean? Yeah. You yeah. find, I mean, there's got to be tons. I, of I've them, made, man. I've made my, you know, there's still some stuff I want to get on card. I do like to like collecting loose, honestly. But, um, <laughs> there's some. The one that got that Android body. Yeah, dude. I was oh, so that was you. <laughs> man, screw that. I'll give you three hundred for it right now. That's how bad I want. There's one right now. It's just been, you know, like on eBay, you can like like something, and then sometimes they'll send it. They'll send you out. a discount. Yeah. So I've had it on there yeah. for like two or three months, and nothing. <laughs> I like to play games with the sellers, man, because I'll be like like and then they'll they'll, they'll repeatedly send me stuff really? they'll be like ignore ignore really? ignore <laughs> and they'll go back and like it again and they'll send it they'll discount it even more i'm like ignore <laughs> <laughs> i was like you you want you want me to buy it more than i want to buy it but you know Why? so I just, <laughs> I just keep playing games sometimes i get i mean sometimes it backfires and somebody else will like buy it up or whatever but you know. I'll show you with this one. This is a uh, Turtles two, right? God, that's such a good two. looking box, man. Yeah, so this guy had it, and I, I had it liked for a while, and I'm like, damn, I need this one. <laughs> so, I messaged him. I'm like, look, I'm a big fan. This is going right to my collection. I'm not flipping it. Give me a deal. He did. He sent me a thing right away. So I try to. And then right after this went up, the third one went up, which is the rare rarest one out of the Game Boy series. So sure. I watched it the night I was ready to spend some money on this one. Uh, <laughs> the night before it was like at two fifty. I'm like, cool, great. My minimum, whatever. It's not even there yet. My minimum that I'm willing to spend. I go to sleep. I wake up. It's at eight hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> oh my god! I was mad. Purchased two of them. I just, I just, you know, when you know, when you just like are done, you get like swipe and then delete. That's all I did. I just stopped looking at it. I'm like, this is dumb and I hate yeah, it. Yeah, man, you look at it like a past relationship, you just move on, you like, just forget about it. Dude. Yeah, like you're heartbroken, crushed, but like, crushed. I'm dead. like, why are you <laughs> keep bidding if it's just gonna keep going? Like, stop bidding, guys. Listen, stop bidding. Um, I'm yeah, hoping man, to find it somewhere, are- but. People out here bidding on stuff like that keep getting fucking stimulus checks or something, man. I don't understand. It is. And man, I think <laughs> it's just like that's the I worst part of this whole money. pandemic, man. Everything that people were collecting oh, I know. became a premium. Oh, absolutely. And that's the thing is that like naked fucking jumped on that board, man. They're like people are just sitting at home waiting just for something to feel good about. And they're like, yeah. you got all this turtle shit. <laughs> Dude, I, I'll give tell us you, that stimmy money. I was I, I fell victim because uh, we all did. So <laughs> I you. so I got a um a TMT Adventures number one, right? You can tell what just happened there. So I guess this was an antique shop seller on eBay. I'm not even kidding. I'm gonna send you the pictures. They sent this in a bubble mailer, no padding, no nothing. Everything cracked, the whole thing cracked. And then I'm like, "You got to be killing me!" You I got guess. your money back, right? I did. But here's the thing: I was gonna crack it anyway because it there's press of things on it. <laughs> Were you really? Yeah. You shiesty man. But was the was the was the comic all fucked up or no? No, thankfully not. But like the top corner chips off. Yeah. You know what? Let me see. I think I posted it. I Chris, are you still are you still on here? What did you if you don't mind me asking, what did you pay for your third print of uh TMT one? <laughs> it's a third print, isn't it? I don't, I don't know if he's in here anymore. Oh, you know what? I gave him too much credit. It wasn't even a bubble mailer. Look at this. Yikes! This is not... Oh, sorry. 
Oh, yeah, just keep flashing all this shit that I'm... <laughs> Up here, cracked. Down here. I'm like, you I, should, be I have three copies of this. And I need to send them in. And I, one's like in really great condition. The other two. Uh, do you have, this is what I was wondering. Uh, there's three different versions of this, right? There's regular, there's newsstand, and then there's like a tribute one. For um, I think it's, the, I just have like the, the original one. Well, what's the difference? There's one that's newsstand, there's a regular one. And then I think there's a Canadian price variant. And then there's a, uh, another one with like a little dedication in the um box. i believe mine is just the regular i got mine uh uh pretty cheap probably a year ago from um what is that dude's name he he holds a lot of comic uh auctions god damn it uh, where, i can't remember even, dallas yeah, told me ig that? or on ig yeah, or it's on ig um he he's out of Arizona. Out yeah, he's out of Phoenix. Yeah. Right. Um, God, what's that dude's name? <laughs> I'm gonna give him a shout out because, like, dude, like, people won't like people are in there bidding on like Spider-Man and X-Men and all that shit. And I'm always the only dude who bids on turtle stuff, and I like got copies of those like dirt cheap, man. Like, I think I paid like forty or fifty bucks. Gary's not in Phoenix. Is he? No, uh -huh. it's not Gary. No, 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 Redhead. What is that dude's name? <laughs> Thanks, Dallas. Dallas is watching right now. Post war comics. Okay, I know who that is. Yeah. And credit to Dallas because he turned me on to that guy. Super great guy. If I suggest go and uh, 75 for 750. See, that's not bad, man. Like, I was looking at a like a third print, like fucking three five on eBay was going for like 550. And I was like, I don't know if I want to pull that trigger, man. But I feel like third prints get out of hand. <laughs> Shout out to Buckhead and Babble, those guys. Oh, dude, those have a great show, rules, man. Yeah. Oh, and, and shout out to Scully for uh, man, he just had a kid. Like oh yeah, yesterday or something. Like being yeah. a, a papa. Healthy baby boy. Yeah. Hope hope your family is healthy and happy and but I think that's I think that's Dallas. <laughs> that probably is. I'm sure he's not watching. Toes, <laughs> <laughs> Robert. Hell yeah. Yeah. Post war comics, man. Uh subscribe to that guy. Uh you can get some key books. Some key books clean, man. Um and uh, if you want, he saves you. Uh, if you don't want to like keep paying for shipping, he'll hold on to your books through, you know, wow. and then mail them all at once eventually, you know, whenever you want. Uh, great deals on good books, man. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Robert, you dick. <laughs> but you're right. You ain't I right. bet. I bet Rob has a third print somewhere. Robert does have a, I think it's a second print. He's shown it to me. He doesn't give a shit about it. He like was like, it just like threw it behind him. <laughs> <laughs> that's what fucking uh, Robert does. Uh, are you going to Cincy? Cincinnati Comic Book Expo? Uh, when's that? Uh, uh, September. I got tickets for it already. Uh, no, one of my best friends in the world is getting married in September. Dallas, I, I believe it's September, but it's in the fall, so I gotta, I gotta save my money to uh, fly out. So congratulations, to Dallas. Yeah, the lady be. said yes. They just recently got engaged. <laughs> <laughs> Still haggling to that guy in St. Louis. <laughs> Oh man, he just had a nerdy out there <laughs> to take care of his business. Do you haggle? You haggle our shows? Do I? Yeah. I'm like, listen, man. I'll haggle a five dollar book. I was like, I am not scared of your prices. Okay. November. That's what I you said. You will wait November. off. 
what did I say? September? November? <laughs> You said September. <laughs> it's fucking one of the, it's like close enough. One man. Of those it's, like, it's in my calendar. But yeah, no, I'll, I'll I, I will, it's, it's, too, it's too close to I don't know, maybe fuck it. I don't know. We'll see. All right, I'll book. I'll give you three. That's just not um it. yeah. What uh, I mean, we're doing we're gonna be doing C two E two. And we're gonna have a booth. I'm trying. I got it. I'm still. Who do we need to talk to about that? Uh, they're supposed to email. Let me see. I'm gonna look it up right now. But that'd be rad. Uh, do C two E two. Um, you know, get some interviews in. Run around. Let's see. I did. I did say fall. I did. I did say fall. Yeah, I filled this out. I haven't heard from him yet. Who's like the person in charge of that? Like, and how much is a booth? Like, I don't mind splitting it with you. You know, the cost of everything. Well, that's what I'm trying to find out. Like, what's going on here, guys? I wonder if I get an industry badge. Uh, professional association becoming something. Yeah. I filled out this email thing. I'm still waiting for them to get back to me. I mean, it's a little ways away. They're probably still trying to. Their primary thing is trying to book artists and you, should book you know those. appearances and shit right like that first. first. Yeah, I, I think mean, tickets go on sale March fifteenth. March fifteenth. Huh? Yeah. Well, I mean, if we're a vendor, we don't need to purchase tickets, though. Right. You just show up. Yeah. A booth for what? So that shitty team of Tusa? No, no. That's shitty. Well, we're going to be doing, we're going to be lighting all of the Fast and Furious stuff on fire and then broadcasting it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to be, we're going to be doing our podcast and stuff from there, man. Every time he says James says something, I just want to fucking fucking James. That's what I'm gonna do James when I see him. It's James so said he was going to see two E two this year. James better not go to see two E two. We'll do that to his head. Mm-hmm. He's, gonna bring, Dumps, he's gonna bring his Hot Wheels on the plane to keep him busy. <laughs> <laughs> this is for my family. 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 Burn Pokemon card. James, I haven't seen James do any Pokemon shit lately. Uh, yeah, I, Scully was really into. Is Scully, is Scully still like doing the thing where he opens up cards online, or it's just like a hand fetish? You know what I mean? Just like <laughs> hands and then just opening up cards. Oh, Dallas, can you confirm or deny that he's doing that? Still doing Pokemon? Dude, is Scully? Is that Scully? I get yo James is James is little uh still doing Pokemon, Pokemon, po- Pokemon. That's so James great. used to do Pokemon cards. Then he took a break. His room is dope now. Whose room? James. James oh, picked cool. up his uh, comic room. Looks great. They're really good jobs. Just got a bunch of stuff today. I'll make her some videos. Mirror. Yeah, be sure to post about it. I won't check them out. Yeah, James, I can say nice things about you sometimes. Bitch ass. It's bitch ass. <laughs> <laughs> Scully opened up Pokemon cards last night. Speaking of cards, dude, like, you know, sometimes, like, on YouTube, random shit just pops up on your feed. Uh, yeah. There was something for, like, Dallas Card Show, a super card show, so I watched it. Bro, the money that gets thrown Dude. around is Holy crazy. Shit. I was like, like, this is crazy. It's it, their cards taken to like this upper echelon where they've got like fucking diamonds offset and like certain things and like, you know what I mean? Like there's right. gems in them. I was like, what the fuck is this I, shit? I know z- <laughs> next to nothing, but I sat there and watched this guy for 30 minutes. Like, all right, I'll give you 10 grand plus 
trade for this and, I, and just watching this i'm like this is crazy dude it, it's nuts it really is it's, i mean it's rad it's cool to see like i mean it eventually had to be you know more because like how many you know right. jersey cards or like signature cards you're like it's genius like they're like oh there's a diamond in this card as well like it's it's so insane um, I wish. Okay, James, uh, speaking of cards, I wish that, that the Ninja Turtles had better cards. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. <laughs> because it's always like, in every single like patch cards. Uh, all right, it's just like a like a like a the first ever screenshot of like a scene <laughs> in one of the cartoons. Right. And it's just like, what the fuck, man? Just like, can somebody make? <laughs> New cards of turtles. <laughs> That'd be tight. Oh man, we couldn't afford them. I know. Not. I gotta fucking make my own. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come on right now. Open some. Yeah, Robert. That's exactly what we're talking about. Yeah, dude. The, the sports card game is it's crazy, dude. I, I've it's never crazy. seen something it, like that. It's it's crazy. I you know I was talking to somebody about. Um, uh, one of my clients today about how it's now become not really about giving a shit about what you collect. You're just like doing, cause it's just now like an investment. It's like playing the stock markets with like comics and shit these days. You know what I mean? Just like with MCU movies coming out, like nobody really ever fucking knew the Eternals and then the Eternals come out and like all that stuff shoots way the hell up. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's like getting all this stuff super cheap and then selling high and then just like you know what I mean, right? Crashing that's the, the game, market. man. That, it's like right now, that's the game. Searching for the Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card that they made a million of, but told you there was only ten. Right. <laughs> like, I don't know, dude. I I see it, man. Like, I, I was on a um, a very popular YouTuber's uh, whatnot sale. Mm -hmm. Retro, retro, retro. I don't care about anything. Um. This dude was selling copies of video games. You not more than fifty bucks <laughs> at the least. Um, and uh, <laughs> and <laughs> you know what? Jealous, you fucks. I'm just saying it's dumb. It's like nobody. It's like you don't care about the that thing at all. It's just not. And that's, I see it all the time, dude. And with this dude, like, instead of like, cause so there's an option on whatnot where it's just it's called sudden death. So once it hits up one second, the last bid is the winner. Dude, $50 games are going for like two, $300. I was, yeah. I was so mad at everybody. Pokemon will always be safer, more fun investment. You never hear about Pokemon getting injured or choking. <laughs> so <you can't> <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking great. Poor James. He would cry himself to sleep tonight. I'm oh, sorry, that was not you. You're right. Ha ha ha. I, yes, really I know. I mean, everybody thinks Derek Carr's a shitty quarterback, which, whatever. He only threw, he was oh. third in the league for passing yards, and he was like only 35 yards under Patrick Mahomes. Which I had no idea of, by the way. Because you think Derek Carr, you're like, oh, that guy wears eyeliner. And then you never think about him again. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we digress. We were talking about something else. Oh, yeah, but it's it's so crazy how uh, just the market is now, man. And I and I feel like a lot of a lot of it comes from like people losing their jobs, not being able to make a living. So this is this is what happens. But yeah, yeah. dude, it, it's every time I go to shops now, it's like like really have to like they'll ask me like what are you doing? I'm like looking up the average hill before I buy this thing. Like if, if it's not close to that, I'm just yeah. Like, you know, I try and make it to day three of most cons. Just an off chance that, like, certain things that I'm looking for haven't sold, and it's just, just like the best day to haggle with anybody. Right. But and unfortunately, like, most turtle stuff, there's not an abundance of. Right. At 
most of these cons. So, like, if there is, people are willing to pay that top dollar as soon as the doors open. And most of it's gone. Or they've traded with other vendors for other vendors bought before this thing opened. Right. And, and you'll see, off. like, once we get our booth at C2E2, you're going to see all the wheel and dealing that goes on. I mean, that's really why I'm, oh, oh, I'm piggybacking exactly. you on this thing. It's like, right, <laughs> I'll be like, I, I did. I'm gonna try to fucking find these figures. I'm gonna try. Yeah. I'm gonna try to do it at the next con we're at too. Like it's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's so you gotta you gotta jump on it. You gotta jump on it. It's yep. it's hard. Even though that means paying like a thousand dollars for a fucking booth at C2E2 just so I could buy some pictures. <laughs> just so you can get some stuff early. Yeah. Oh man. Oh yeah. Nathan Peterman is still the go, huh? All right. <laughs> oh man, that's great. What else yeah. we want to talk about? What was going on? Uh, oh shit! Uh, I was just watching. Someone sent me an offer or something. Now it's gone. So uh, yeah. What, Did what you see are... someone? Someone posted a um, a Detective Comics twenty seven on eBay. No, it got up to ten grand, and then Jesus. it was discovered that how many was, people was, were watching that thing? It was fake. It, it was, was fake. fake. Yeah, so they reported it, and that was that. It was done. I Man, mean, that's almost as sketchy as. Uh, well, that's not quite as sketchy, but like, fucking, what's his name spending a million dollars of Pokemon cards, and then that are fake. This is the fake one here. It shows nineteen dollars now, but this got up to like ten grand. Is that what the starting bid was? It was like nineteen dollars. Yeah, it, it turns out that this was a uh, loot crate exclusive. But think about it, right? Like ten grand. Damn. Had... So they did. Oh, so they didn't say it was original, though, right? They did. That oh, they did. Yeah, they even beat it up. They put tape on it. Like no shit. Yep, then that goes back to like that whole Logan Paul situation. So, like, I mean, so what can happen for something like that? I mean, technically, I mean, are you committing a crime? I mean, you're, they, it's fraud. I would, right? I would consider it fraud, especially would, if you're getting into the tens of thousands of dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's. I'm I feel sure. like eBay's the last people I would like want to fuck with, man, because I got the money to like. <laughs> I mean, what Dude, Logan Paul spent? How much? Like a million, two million on Pokemon cards that weren't real? How? Okay. I mean, he got his money back, by the way. Yeah, he did. He was made. But money. just like, how dumb do you have to be? You know what I mean? Like to authenticate what you're doing before you just send a million dollars to somebody. Well, that's the thing too. I think what happened was he bought it wasn't sh- he wasn't sure to begin with then he gave it to an authentication company and they're like yeah this is legit they said he- it was legit yeah he got so it authenticated. Not only would i s- fucking get my money back i would sue the authentic like the people who authentic like like how do you even have a job yeah yeah i was like how how much other shit falls through the crack See that was somebody. the big, that was the big thing with NECA hiring all those new people, or not NECA mm. but uh, CGC. Right. What's going on, Ross? Oh, buddy. Can you open up a case of flaws on the stone? <laughs> well, this one. I want you to open something you haven't opened. Damn. I think it was off the computer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was definitely authenticated by someone, by some company, and they're like, "Yeah, this is good." Which, but, like, how did they like authenticate it, man? Because like, you, you have to see that in person to do that, right? Like, yeah, yeah, you have to see it in person. And well, when they fi- and when he, oh, I don't know. It <laughs> seems it just seems it all kind of seems staged, like it wasn't even real. Is that Russia? <laughs> Hacker's dream? Uh, Uncle Edge. 
That's sweet. Thanks, buddy. Hi, Uncle Edge. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, at least he got his money back. But that goes to show, dude. This shit, that shit probably happens every day. Probably happens every day. Um, shout out to the low grades if you guys aren't following them or have watched their podcast do so it's quite entertaining um just good content made by good dudes and uh robert <laughs> yeah it was it was deemed authentic because of what the steel was but it's crazy how many people on it. and the internet was like no nah, this is fake i think there was a whole subreddit that was like pointing yeah. out all how fake like how they knew it was fake. Yeah, it was just it, the printing looked off on it. Like the the box itself, that they compared the boxes like to a, 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 a like legit one to like that one, and it was just like it looked like shit. Like none mm-hmm. of it looked real. And what was inside of it? It was like ba- fucking cards of like like baseball cards or some shit. Like just trash, man. That sucks. That's that's crazy that people would. Uh, have the audacity to do some shit like that, man. But yeah, be careful out there, man. I mean, people were were forging um, CGC slabs for like Pokemon cards and shit, or baseball cards, or I think even sports cards, dude. Like Beckett cards. Are you talking about like the minis? No, no, like Beckett sports cards. They were oh, no shit. Yeah, yeah. Someone's going around putting, forging these cards. Yeah, but don't they have like a number on? All of that stuff to where you can look it up to see if it's real. Yeah, you can. But you know, when you're at a card show, people don't always think, "Oh, let me look this up right now." Okay, if you get duped like that and there's numbers that you can look up, that's on you. <laughs> you deserve to have your money taken, and mm-hmm. I don't feel bad for you. You know what I mean? Like I'm definitely like anytime I'm I'm looking to buy a slab off eBay, I'm definitely putting those numbers in and looking it up. Right. Even though you get your money back, I'm just saying, like, that's a whole thing. It's called the package. All right. <laughs> oh, my guys. Yeah, man. <sighs> the, the chat is active, my I dudes. Know. I love it. Everyone's just getting at each other. Shit, so. <laughs> uh. I'm G.I. Joe. <laughs> oh, is that what was inside of it? It was G.I. Joe cards? <laughs> Dude, I'd be, I'd be fucking pissed. <laughs> Except this is fuck. Hell yeah. Like, G.I. Joe is trash, and I don't fucking care who likes G.I. Joe. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's going on, what's going on James? I think James likes G.I. Joe. Good. Shocking. Oh, he likes fucking G.I. Joe and Fast and Furious? Homo! And Hot Wheels. And Hot Wheels. <laughs> God. Oh, my gosh. I love it. This is, this is a little bit, James. Well, he was a, of all things, it's G.I. Joe. Real American heroes. <laughs> We all said we said all this in the beginning of the show. We're awesome. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> what, what are you? What are you? This dude's got like all of his collection behind him, which is like ninety percent fucking turtles. What do you think, uh, Ross? I love you, buddy. What do you? What, we don't collect anything else, man. Are <laughs> <laughs> like, you right now? You know man? what I mean? Like, come on, bud. You're better than that. Nice. Yeah, I can't wait. Right, just. Yeah, Should we talk about it next week, man? Yeah, dude. Are you going? I'm going to go next week. I bought... Um, I'm going to see it twice. I bought uh, IMAX uh, 3D, and then I, I'm doing a regular standard IMAX. James is going um, three times. Jimmy, tell him, <laughs> tell the chat how you ended up getting three tickets, because you're an idiot. <laughs> Freak. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, but um, the dining theater near us will have it. Yeah. But if anybody wants to come on, if everybody's seen it next week, anybody wants to come on next Saturday and talk about it, let's do that. Yeah. 
I'm pretty I'm pretty excited for it. I'm I stoked, think man. Yeah. It's it's going to be interesting for sure. I I mean I'm curious is if they're going to do a string of these movies. Like or is it just gonna be like a one off? You know what I mean? Well word on the street is that um this flash movie is gonna kill off kill off the Snyderverse Batman. So but they're but they just is but didn't they just sign like a three movie deal with Michael Keaton to like yes. reprise the roles Batman and, and then have standalones? Yeah. I'm that's I'm pretty I'm pumped for that. Man. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah, next week we'll have we'll we'll get everybody on to discuss. Of course it's gonna be spoiler filled. I'll make sure to put that in the post too. Because sometimes people be don't read don't read that this is gonna be a, a spoiler show. Uh I'll we'll say let our tens want, of fans know. We'll let all seven people. Yeah, I I, I yes, think sir. Be yes, sir. I hope it, 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 it keeps that dark and gritty throughout the whole movie. Just like I'll jump on because I'm a little Oh, Robert. Oh, man. Yeah. I mean, winding down. I guess we know what we're doing next week, right? Next week. We yeah. Yeah, for all, sure. All things Buckamon. Pokey, my end. Next week, so I can see. It's so, it's so nice to interact with all you guys, man. I miss you guys. This is. Uh, this has been a lot of fun, man. Yeah, for sure, man. It's been a while, but we're back. We're back to stay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. And speaking of Batman, we were talking about this um, beforehand. If anybody is in Chicago, um, there's a company called Onset Cinema, and they they go to these filming locations and they play the movies at the locations. In December... They're doing the Dark Knight Rises, and they're playing the movie inside the Harvey Dent fundraiser slash Bruce Wayne penthouse. Tickets are on sale for like fifty bucks to do that. They're very limited though, but it's in December. I th- I feel like somebody should spell it to tell Steve because I feel like Steve would lose his fucking mind. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, what is that? What is that? Is that you? What? Oh, it's probably the ticket. Oh, <laughs> what is happening? Who's yelling? Oh um, man, that's funny. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm. What's this? Oh, I'm buying your tickets. I don't even care. I'll find you out here. I don't give a shit. Yeah, it's guess be what? <laughs> Make it happen. Rob said, "Jesus Christ." Yeah, Rob, Rob. Have to leave California though, man, to come come do that. Turn down that time. <laughs> Stop eating those uh, grass chicken wings, brother. That's funny. Well, that's all I got for tonight. Same. Uh, so, yeah, next week, Batman will be discussing uh, what we thought about the movie. Talk about it's a long movie, too, right? It's only like over two hours of time. It's like two and a half hours, 245, oh, something like that. A lot to talk about. Uh, hopefully some some guests will come on. Hopefully Ross comes on and James and and uh, yeah. not Robert. Robert's a horror, so he'll come on. <laughs> <laughs> he's not gonna uh, watch the movie. He's just gonna come on. Just come he's on. gonna come on. Yeah, he's, he's, like, just hey, gonna, gonna, he's gonna pretend movies. like he watched it. He's gonna take some turtle books and just throw them behind him. <laughs> Fuck the asshole. <laughs> Robert, some of your turtle book, you fucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's gonna hold on to it to the last second and then sell it to you when you're at church. Two hours and 58 minutes is the runtime on it. That's like dang, that's a long movie. That's, a long that's movie. six that, that hours going the here one day. Holy shit. wait, how many you're seeing? How many, how many times the same thing? I'm seeing once in IMAX 3D and then I'm seeing it in standard. <laughs> I didn't realize it was three hours, dude. That's crazy. I'm just gonna sell right, tickets. You got you got trailers. <sighs> no, yeah. that's the 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 runtime of the actual movie. Yeah, yeah. You have so it'll be about three hours. You're right. Fuck. 
It'll be longer than that, though, with trailers, man. Shit. Damn. I'm going to have to eat so many Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> you have to get that refillable popcorn. Um, oh, oh, also, I'll be, uh, I'll be <laughs> streaming. I'll be live streaming uh, maybe tomorrow uh, on the channel, which is shooting the shit, streaming some video games. Um, oh, when, to, uh, what are, yeah, when are you doing another, um, we're going to play some games again, man. Is that what you're doing tomorrow? Probably tomorrow I'll come on and play, uh, maybe Captain, Captain America and the Avengers or something or Bucky Sick. O'Hare, you know, we'll what chat, talk want? some comics, talk life. Hell yeah. I'll give fatherly advice, uh, <laughs> to anyone who wants it. I'm just gonna come on and watch you play and just like make comments about the game. Talk about how sh- shitty it is. No, it's a great game. It's very expensive. But talk about how big Captain America's package is in that game. <laughs> He's got the giant bulge. Stream pong next, dude. I would definitely play ET. <laughs> Stream pong or pong? That's hilarious. <laughs> or ET. Yeah. See my I have to. I have to update my stuff, but sooner or later I'll probably be streaming. Once uh, Shredder's Revenge comes out. I'll probably stream some of that. Did they say that was going to be released on all consoles now too? Mm-hmm. That's so tight, dude. Yeah, if they have it on, uh, I'm going to get it for the Switch just because I like, carry it everywhere with me. Um, but yeah, it'll be it'll be everywhere. Makes sense. I'm, what happens if I got cars? shit to do? <laughs> Robert's got to fucking drive across the street to pick up his kids. <laughs> That's right. It's, it's only like eight nine o'clock out there. It's like but yeah. three hours behind. It's like 9 o'clock there. Yeah. All right, then. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming on and talking to us, man. You guys are great. Appreciate, Always appreciate the support. And Let's pull an all-nighter. <laughs> Sorry, bud. We've already been Ain't on no for way. an hour and 30 minutes. Ain't no way. Ain't no we way. ain't the low grades, man. We can't, we can't, can't stay up that way. We can't hang with the low grades, man. <laughs> I don't know how you guys do it. I don't know how you guys do it. But with that said, man, yeah. on behalf of... Uh, CJ and myself. Have a good night. We'll see you next week. Peace. There you guess. See this works. No, not going to work. Oh, okay. Good. Good. Perfect. That's great. People can still hear us. That's great. Guys, it's broken. <laughs> We're never leaving. James, I'm going to report you to your job. All right, bye.